Alright, hello guys, in this video we're going to be talking about another big cooldown that's going to be coming up on the GFS and the European model in the long range, so we're going to be looking at those models and comparing them. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content like this video. I do monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, and all sorts of forecasts for storms that are happening right now. So I would highly recommend you subscribe for that. Right now we're looking at the anomalies for the last time I called for a big cooldown uh, in the, in the East and the central United States. And you can see a lot of that ended up being in the central United States, but there was a cooldown here. This is from the eighth through the ninth. So it was only a two day cooldown, but there was a cooldown in the forecasted range that I forecasted for. So you can see that most areas in the central United States and Eastern United States were at least average or slightly below average. So that was kind of not as cold as we were expecting, but there was a sort of cool down here. Now we're looking at the GFS right now, and this is for the 21st. So this isn't as long range as my last one that I did. Uh, we're only looking at about seven days out. But if, if you if you look here, we're not at the cool down yet. You can see it's warm there for the central United States, a little bit there in the north central United States there for the Dakotas. We have a little bit of a cool down and a little bit there in New England. But for the most part, we're warm. And you can see it's kind of the same story there on the European, except New England isn't really cold on the European, but we do have that cold in the central United States for the Dakotas as well as Montana. You can see we move on one frame here, and this is our cool down. You can see the GFS has it, it cooling down for a lot of the northeastern United States from Minnesota eastward into New England, uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. All of you are very cold. Those greens are 8 degrees or more below average. So it, it is going to be a pretty big cooldown according to this. And also, if you look at the European, it's the same story, except it's mostly from Chicago eastward. And we do have a little bit of cold there in the southeast on this model. But for the most part, New England, is it's the same story. A lot of cold there for the interior New England areas, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Indiana as well. So both models are calling for this cooldown. The, the last cooldown that I showed, only the GFS was actually showing. The European did not have that cooldown. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys. A lot of people were talking about how I only use the GFS. So I, I was trying a new thing here and comparing the European and the GFS because I know that when they both agree on something, it's, it's very, very likely that that's the outcome because they're the two most, you know, two of the, two of the best models out there. And when they're they usually show different things, but when they show the same thing, it's usually a really, really good sign that you're on to the right idea of what's going to happen here. So let me know if you like this idea of using the European and the GFS model both at the same time. Uh, so, so give me some feedback on that. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video breaking down kind of the new temperature pattern that's going to be taking over for at least a few days uh, in, in the long range here in about seven or eight days. I hope you guys... Have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next video.